Developing news from Cumberland County, a school custodian is behind bars right now facing some pretty vile accusations. Police say the employee documented himself violating children's food and the surroundings. Action News reporter Catherine Scott live in Upper Deerfield Township with the details. Well, at least the ones that we can share on television, Catherine. Yeah, these are really disturbing allegations, guys, and uh, parents here are so upset at the Elizabeth F. Moore School here in Cumberland County. Uh, we've been speaking to parents this morning. They're frustrated. They say it's been days and they've barely heard any specifics from the school district. Authorities are working to determine exactly when these incidents occurred. The Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office today announced that on Tuesday, 25-year-old Giovanni and Pelizari of Vineland was arrested, the custodian at Elizabeth F. Moore School in Upper Deerfield Township. The school district uh, with the school district charged with multiple counts, including aggravated assault, tampering with food products, endangering the welfare of a child. On Monday, investigators say state police was contacted by school authorities who'd received multiple anonymous tips about posts on a social media platform. They were screenshots and videos of Impalazari in a number of disturbing acts, according to investigators. Among them, authorities say he was performing sexual acts with inanimate objects at the school and tampering with food and utensils in the school cafeteria with bleach and bodily fluids food that was intended for students and staff. And Palazzari has been employed with the district since 2019. Parents here have been very frustrated. They say the messages they received from the school district were vague. They're concerned about the health and the safety of the kids. It makes him happy to do things like this, spraying, thing, spraying bleach on cucumbers, apparently, and saying that the more kids that he hurts, the better. That's scary for us. He's been here for two years. What happens if our kids are contaminated with that for two years and we don't know. Our kids are supposed to be safe here. I feel like I, I, I'm feeling as a parent because I can't protect my kid in school. According to the prosecutor's office, the school district is working with the Department of Health to ensure food prep, utensils and surfaces have been properly sanitized and any food products in question have been discarded. We're also collecting specimens to determine any potential for infectious disease transmission. Some of the parents I spoke to they wish they'd close the school while this investigation is ongoing. We're live in Upper Deerfield Township. Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. Alicia. It is so disturbing, Catherine. Thank you so much.